Oh boy. Here we go. Welcome to review week. As you know, this is going to be a daily upload week. Every day I will be uploading a new review of some old and new FNAF merch. Just a throwback, you know, bring back some nostalgia and whatnot. So as you can see here, we've got a horrible setup going on. You know what, let's just go over um, what we've got in this setup here. So here we've got the table, right? We've got the two, um, what do we call these? Security breach statues going on. We got the security breach figures all set up nicely. Um, <clears throat> not really sure what uh, Freddy is doing over there. Uh, and then over here we've got, this is what I like to call the bargain bin setup. We've just got just a bunch of, I mean, horrible faces. I'm, I'm not, you know, we, we got Bendy there, which you know, you know, not it isn't that bad to everyone. Then, oh, uh, then, then we move into the SpongeBob's. You know, there's there's gonna be a lot of SpongeBob's in these videos. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, be ready for that. Uh, lots of cool. Th oh God. Yeah. Okay. Hi. How are you? Hey. Hi. Uh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we're not gonna talk with the last ones. And then if we move up from the table right here, we've got the wall of relics. So all all the things I have here um, are things that I might open in review week. Today, we are going to be doing the wave one action figures, the FNAF one action figures. Uh, and then I've got more of them. Hi, Chucky. And we're gonna be doing uh, the, the Dreadbear wave and we're gonna be doing the... Um, Easter wave. I might do Pizzeria Simulator, but if you don't know, it was hard to get these boxed. It was really hard to get boxed versions of these because they are pretty rare now, so I don't really know if I want to open them, to be honest. Comment if you think I should, if you would watch that or not. So yeah, this is the corner we're working with. This is this week's setup, and it looks pretty cool. Okay, so if you didn't catch what I said before, the idea of this week is that we are going to be reviewing old FNAF merch. And I'm going to be trying to unbox everything that I can uh, get boxed. So right now, like I said, wave one action figures, you might be able to see me. Hi. Um, we're gonna be opening all these. We're gonna be building Springtrap. Now these are actually the restocked figures. If you look uh, at Foxy here, I'm gonna put my hand up. If you look at Foxy here, you can tell that he's a little bit different looking um, than the original Foxy. It's because these are restocks. So they are a little bit different than they used to be, um, which is kind of cool to review because I technically haven't owned these before then. Uh, one thing I wanted to say really quick about Golden Freddy, if you can't tell, God, I, you can really see me, huh? Uh, <laughs> is that his body is like dark brownish color while his arms are yellow so it's kind of weird so we'll get into that okay so here's a nice little wide shot of what we're looking at guys this is bringing me back to like 2016 2015 days um i have not opened i mean the fnaf one figures since then so pretty cool these are pretty dusty uh they've been sitting on my wall uh you know hanging on little pins for a while so they're a little dusty i've been waiting to do this video uh and i think review week is the perfect week to do it and since these are kind of one of the first ever you know some of the first ever fnaf merch that ever came out i think this is a pretty good video to start with so yeah um we're not going to do all those action figures that i have on the wall there this week we're just gonna do you know maybe two or three sets of them tomorrow is not going to be an action figure review i'm thinking it's gonna be something like maybe the sister location plushies something classic that we can talk about comment if there's anything you want to see me review uh not everything will be an unboxing because I can't obviously get a hold of everything in box. Like I can't just buy old McFarland sets or anything. So I might just review some plushies that I already own or I might review things that I've never reviewed before or things I haven't owned yet. So I think uh, a good contender for something that I may review uh, is some of the new FNAF AR merch I'm gonna get a hold of and open some of that. So yes, let's get into this. Okay, so since this is the first day of review week, it may be a little clunky so I'm gonna do my best to, uh, you know, get the rhythm going here. I'm also gonna try to save these boxes the best I can. I think it's total BS that you can't take these figures out of their boxes uh, without opening them and, you know, ruining the box. So that, that was a pretty clean opening. Uh, obviously, you're gonna leave a little bit of a thing there, but 
hopefully I can get all of these side things opened in the same way so that I don't uh, ruin the box because I, I love these boxes and I want to you know the the ideal situation would be being able to hang these back up okay there we go one thing I want to say I don't remember them having these little ties around them I think this is a restock thing I'm pretty sure the old figures did not have that which is cool uh, you know any changes that's what we're looking for we are gonna cut those I mean there's no there's nothing I can do about that we're gonna have to cut those so I'll pair it back all right one thing I can say for sure is that some things never change these still fall apart just as much as they used to so they definitely have not improved the joints at all <laughs> we all know Freddy has, does not have teeth on his top jaw so that's obviously inaccurate um everything else here is pretty much the same i would say his brown color looks a little bit lighter than it used to uh so that's kind of nice now let's try to put the microphone in his hand this is always a problem with these figures they have such trouble holding the props that they're given Ugh, you really have to push it in there um, maybe it was meant for this hand, actually. Um, let's try that instead. So I have to twist that out of there. No, the hands look just about the same. Uh, one thing I never liked about Freddy, the Freddy figure, is that, he, um, he can't hold the mic properly. It has to hold at an angle like that, and that just doesn't look right. Uh, you also can't really bend the arms that far. This is, like, the, the tightest angle you can do at his elbow so you can't really put the mic up to his mouth never was really a fan of that um he can still stand just fine yeah still good the i i will say i'm gonna take back the statement i just said these don't fall apart as badly as they used to um at least this one hasn't when i took it out of the box the legs both fell off but that's kind of expected uh if you're really rough with it he's gonna fall apart you see even then i slammed him down nothing fell off so not the worst not the best and then of course freddy comes with the spring trap arm uh which we will uh, see more of when we open the rest of Springtrap. Okay, to save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Bonnie, and I will come back when he's open. Okay, so Bonnie's open. He is also zip-tied, so we're gonna cut those, and then we are going to get him out, and I'm assuming a bunch of his limbs are going to fall off. Oh, only one. Okay, so <laughs> that's an upgrade from Freddy. Come on. Okay. Okay, so here's the Bonnie figure. Uh, not too different from Freddy. Once again, teeth on the top jaw doesn't make sense. He doesn't have that. So, yeah. Um, so far, I'm not really seeing any differences from the original. One thing I can say that I don't know if the original has is that his eyes are purple, which is not accurate. His eyes are supposed to be pink, I'm pretty sure. So... That is not right. Uh, already an inaccuracy there. Now let's see if he can actually hold the guitar. This is one of the hardest ones to pose with his prop because it's such a big one. And trying to put a prop in two hands with these figures is almost near impossible. So, oh, geez. You see how hard that was just to snap that in there? So we are not going to be able to get this in his other hand. I remember it from when I had the original. So this is how I do it. This is how I used to do it. You just put his hand like that. It looks okay. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. The old Bonnie figure was a lot harder and a lot looser. So, so far, these are definitely an improvement in minute, very small ways, but improvements nonetheless. And then of course, we also got the spring trap leg so guys if you want to know a little bit of background the original plan was that i was going to do a throwback review series for every action figure wave i was going to do wave one wave two whoop, wave three which was sister location um i was gonna do the black lights and i was gonna do uh literally every wave that exists all the way up to FNAF AR. But the problem is uh, I can't get all of them boxed. A lot of them are very expensive now, which is very surprising because if you guys are like me and you collected this stuff, you know, two, three years ago, 
it was everywhere. It was in every store. It was in clearance in every store. And so now uh, it's very surprising to me that, you know, getting a boxed Funtime Freddy is like two, three, four hundred dollars. It's a lot of money. So that was not happening. So instead, we're doing review week where we review a bunch of different things. Uh, and I will review what I can. Um, maybe I'll just do out-of-box reviews for the old, you know, Wave 2 and 3, but I could not get all of them in box. All right, so here's a figure. This is probably the best or second best one, if you ask me. Uh, once again, teeth in the top jaw doesn't make sense, but it's okay, it's barely noticeable with Chica. So let's, okay, so already noticing very flimsy joints on her um and the most annoying thing about her is that the cupcake is not attached in any way so you just have to sit it on her hand and so you can imagine trying to move this figure around uh it's very very tedious and one thing that's even more annoying you see her hand is not a flat surface it actually curves up into the arm so the cupcake cannot sit centered on her hand. It has to sit like with part of it uh, coming off here. So not ideal, but the figure itself is great. And as you can tell, the cupcake is too heavy. It's already too heavy for her arm. The arm bends down. So you have to angle it even more upwards, which is not ideal. Now we have two spring trap legs and a spring trap arm. We're gonna go out of order here and do Golden Freddy next because he comes with a spring trap arm, not the body. I want to assemble spring trap last. So we're gonna do Golden Freddy. So let me know guys, um, do you have these and do you have the originals or do you have the restocks? You can tell if they're restocks because, um, let's see, there should be something that says 2019. Oh yeah, it says 2021, which is even later. So if your boxes or, or figures, let's look at Freddy. Um, it says, let's see, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see, it should say 2021, um, uh, 2020. Okay, he says 2020. So, you can tell if you have the restocks because of that, or if you just can tell from the better paint jobs and whatnot. All right, here's Golden Freddy, let's cut him out. Let me know, do you guys remember when these figures were first revealed at Toy Fair? I remember sitting in class in seventh grade and I was just looking at these images on my phone over and over because I could not wait for them to come out. I couldn't believe that there was game accurate figures being made. Okay, well, as you can see, Golden Freddy's already come apart. So, um, okay, well, there goes more. Okay, let's fix him, I guess. So, yeah, there we go. Right. All right, okay, so there's Golden Freddy. Right off the bat, already noticing the body is completely different color. It's like brown. It looks like a, you know, like a smushed banana. And then his shoulder plates, these little shoulder pads, those are literally bright yellow, which he has nothing else like that on his body. Makes no sense. Yeah, uh, definitely the worst one, if you ask me. This is the worst one. Um, he can't he can't sit which is his iconic pose uh you could do this if you wanted to make him sit hold on just do this put feet in front of him but that looks weird doesn't it just looks like a little goblin yeah probably my least favorite uh his eyes are also weird there's no white pupil just overall pretty lazy looking, not my favorite. And of course he also has his microphone, which probably sits at a weird angle. Yeah, I don't know why Funko can't just make there be enough space under the fingers. I don't know why it has to be like that. It's weird, it doesn't look right, but whatever. All right, and then the last one, if you ask me, best for last, okay, thanks Freddy. Best for last is Foxy. Uh, and as you can tell, this one is the most different than the original. If you have the original Foxy figure, you know that that figure is like bright orange. This one is dark maroon, kind of reddish maroon. Pretty cool. So this is actually, if you don't know, this is what the prototype of the original Foxy figure looked like. I'm gonna show the picture on screen of the Toy Fair image that I was talking about. The original Foxy, 
was dark red. So it's interesting that they chose to do this with this figure. Uh, that's why I think the restocks are necessary because not only can people who didn't get the originals get to buy them now, but you know, you can also get, you can also have an opportunity to uh, fix some things and make them more accurate. Guys, I've done my best to try to get them set up in the background. It's just not working. Everything's falling. Okay, so let's see how many pieces fall off Foxy. Ugh. Oh, none. Okay, even more proof why he's the best figure. Uh, right off the bat, love the color scheme. Looks so good. That is one of the best, best figures in the whole wave. It's got to be the best one. Okay, so one thing I am noticing is that this hand does not turn very well. It's not turning like it's an actual joint, it's turning like I'm breaking it. So I'm not going to try to turn that, but that is unfortunate because I do remember the figure used to be able to turn its hand. I don't know, maybe mine is just a little bit melted or something, or it's just a weak piece of uh, plastic, but not sure what's going on there. The hook cannot turn as usual, which is too bad. I think they should have made the hook be able to turn. Not a big deal, though. Color scheme is the best part, okay? Lots of posability on this guy, too. Since he has little le little limbs, you can really make some good angles with these joints. Um, you can really pose him in good ways. So, yeah. Obviously the best one in the wave. Not really too much to say. Like I said, guys, these are old things. We all know what they're like. It's just more about the nostalgia of unboxing them again. Going back to those days. Okay, so... We have four spring trap limbs and we have a spring trap body and head. Let's open this. Now, one thing I can say for certain is that anyone who could only buy one figure out of each wave, they're probably buying the one that comes with the head and the body of the build a figure. But if you have it coming with Foxy, people are already gonna be buying Foxy anyway. So if you ask me, this should have came with Chica, because Chica is probably the you know, no hate on Chica, but it's probably the fan least favorite, even though I like Chica. Okay, so one thing that's always notable on the build of figures is that the limbs are often hard to connect. I'm trying to tell if I have these limbs the wrong way around. I can't say for certain. It's easy to tell with the arms because of the thumbs, but not certain on the legs. I might have to look at one of the pictures after we assemble him. Ugh, okay, there's Springtrap. Pretty cool. I don't know, I might be wrong, but if I am if I recall correctly, I don't remember his uh, hands being able to move. That might, that might not be true, but I don't remember if the original could move his hands. And as you can tell just then, the hand fell off, which I do not remember happening one time, so. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let me look at the box really quick. Okay, so looking at the box, it looks like Springtrap's leg is supposed to have a little bit of meat coming through there. And uh, as you can tell, the meat is on the back. So I think we have these the wrong way around. I think it's supposed to go like that. That looks more like it. Okay, yeah, that looks fine. Uh, again, could be wrong. His knees kind of look inverted now, but I, I, I'm not really certain, okay? So, to be honest, it probably doesn't matter. Springtrap kind of looks the same in all ways. Okay, so I'm realizing this far into the review that a lower camera angle might have been better, but it's okay. Uh, this is the first video of the week. There's going to be a lot more coming. So yeah, this is the Build-A-Figure of Wave 1, uh, and it's a classic. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like Springtrap? I think they would have sold a lot if they just made Springtrap by himself. But you know what? They probably sold just as much, forcing everyone to buy five figures instead of one. All right, so here's the wide shot of all the figures opened. Uh, and let me tell you them in order of the ones that I uh, dislike to the ones I love. We're going to go from worst to best. So the worst is Golden Freddy. Come on, look at the color scheme does not make any sense. There's like seven different shades of yellow going on here. He can't sit. His eyes are weird. His shoulder pads are like bright neon yellow. Can't hold the microphone. Not my favorite. Then my la my next least favorite is Freddy. He's okay, but he doesn't really look as charming as he does in game. He has teeth where he shouldn't have teeth. He can't hold his microphone. He can't hold it up to his face. Uh, just overall kind of boring mediocre figure. Next up is Bonnie. 
he's good. I actually do like this one. I definitely like it more than the original, but it's still, you know, kind of mediocre. Um, holding his guitar is really hard. He has teeth in his top jaw. He does not look like he does in the game. At least his face, if you ask me. Next up is Chica. I actually like this figure. I think it's the best of the normal uh, three animatronics from Wave 1. Um, cannot hold her, cannot hold her uh, cupcake properly though. That's what I will say. Can't really hold it properly without it falling. Wish there was like a little peg or something that went into her hand. And then we're left with these two. It's really hard to choose between these two which one is better. But if I, I, I'm going to have to be honest, I actually think Springtrap is better. So the next one is Foxy. Foxy is good. His color scheme is great. Uh, super poseable limbs because they're small and thin. But I'm really disappointed that this hand cannot turn. I'm worried that if I turn it, I try to turn it even more, it's going to twist off. Um, big disappointment because now his hand is just stuck in a weird position at all times. You can't turn the hook either, so he's, it's kind of just stuck at this weird angle. Kind of weird, but he looks great still. They all look great together. But the best one is the Build-A-Figure Springtrap. I do think Funko has problems nailing kind of the faces of characters. I don't think any of their faces look like they do in the game, Springtrap included, but I think he's one of the closest ones. And I think I just have a bias because he's Springtrap. I mean, who doesn't like Springtrap? Looks great. Always fun building a Build-A-Figure. I remember how exciting it was getting all the pieces for Springtrap the first time. And now it's just kind of fun doing it all in one go. And you can too. The restocks are still available on Amazon and in stores, so you should go check them out. All right, guys, so that was the Wave 1 Action Figures review. Pretty nostalgic. Not the best figures, but it was, you know, they're all solid, and it was pretty fun going back and doing it again, because last time I opened these, uh, I was still in, like, middle school, I'm pretty sure. So it's been a while. All right, so join me tomorrow where we will be doing another unboxing. Comment in the comments what you want to see me unbox from this wall of figures. If there's anything here you want to see me open, uh, tell me and I'll do it. But tomorrow I will be back with a daily video. And hopefully tomorrow this setup changes because I'm really... Uh, I'll be honest, I'm really not a fan of these horrible bootleg Spongebobs. They're just not not for me. They're not they're not they're not that great to be honest. And and, and don't even get me started on uh Um Well well you know. Um <clears throat> So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Say bye Springtrap. I kill kids for fun. Hi, how are you?